Welcome, Greg A here. I'm a senior engineer and technologist here at DLT Solutions. At DLT, I focus on helping our customers get the most out of their solutions, such as solutions from Veritas and Amazon Web Services that I'll be covering in this video blog. In this episode, I would like to revisit a popular blog I created several years ago about utilizing multiple data streams and multiplexing with Veritas Net Backup. Additionally, since the time of my last blog, there have been several advancements in the industry to include utilizing cloud storage in your overall data protection strategy. With that said, let's jump right in. In every net backup environment, there of course should be, well, a net backup server. Some systems to protect like an exchange database, SQL server, or even a file server. After you have identified the systems you want to protect with net backup, you will need something to store your backups on, such as tapes. And at a very high level, your backup flow would look something like this. Now let's talk about multiple data streams. Multiple data streams allow you to stream data from multiple disk drives or machines concurrently to individual tape drives. In this scenario, maybe you have a Windows server that has a C drive and most likely even a D drive. And with only two tape drives available, how could you back up these disks with multiple data streams? Utilizing multiple data streams, you would stream your C drive, stream A, to one tape drive, and also stream your D drive, stream B, to another tape drive. Now that we have that concept down, let's build upon that with multiplexing. Multiplexing allows you to stream multiple drives or machines to a single tape drive. In this scenario, maybe you have the same Windows server with the exact same drive schema, that drive C and that drive D. You may also have some other systems with multiple drives to protect also. Without multiplexing in multiple streams, you can only back up any two drives at a time if you only have two tape drives. With multiplexing, you could stream all your drives to one or two tape drives, and that would look something like this. For your other systems, it would follow a similar streaming pattern. Now let's take a look at what multiplexing looks like on tape. Each stream will be written to tape as it was received. First, stream A will be written, then stream B will be written, again stream A, and again stream B, and so on. Now for a quick update on how you can utilize storage from Amazon Web Services to enhance your overall data protection strategy. With Amazon Web Services, you have several options such as Amazon Simple Storage Service, or S3. Amazon S3 is highly available and durable object storage that is commonly used to store backup data. In addition to S3, AWS offers Amazon Glacier for your archival storage needs. With Amazon Glacier, you can reliably store large amounts of data very cheaply at a penny per gig. Now that we've covered the AWS storage options available, how do you connect your on-premise net backup server to these storage offerings? One way you can do this is the Amazon Storage Gateway. The Amazon Storage Gateway is a virtual appliance that you can run in VMware, Hyper-V, or even Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute or EC2. With the Amazon Storage Gateway in place, you can now write your backups to Amazon S3 or Glacier. And now your backup flow would look something like this. By utilizing AWS Cloud Storage for your backup and restore needs, your overall data protection strategy will be enhanced by securely storing your backup data in the AWS Cloud and not just at your on-premise data center. Also with S3 as your backup storage, you get 11 nines of durability, which means if you store 10,000 objects on S3, you may lose one object or backup file every 10 million years. Also, S3 is designed in such a way to sustain the current loss of data in two separate storage facilities without impacting the integrity of your data. From my perspective, that's pretty darn good and far surpasses the lifespan of your data on any traditional tape or disk. If you have or are thinking of a solution like this that incorporates the technologies of Veritas and Amazon Web Services, the DLT Service Center 
is a great fit for you. Our DLT service center is a vendor authorized 7x24, 365 days a year, U.S. person, U.S. soil support desk with highly skilled, tenured, and certified engineers on staff, just like me, ready to help. With the DLT Service Center, you can eliminate the headache of multiple vendor calls that we often find ourselves on when a particular technical issue spans vendors. For more information, please visit our main site at dlt.com. In this episode, we have covered how you can make your tape drives more efficient and modernizing your net backup architecture with Amazon Web Services. You may have some questions? Feel free to contact us by telephone at 888-223-7083 or by email at edm at dlt.com. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time.